Hello everyone and welcome to the Wearable Online introduction series. Today I'm going to show you how Wearable Online looks like, how to sign up and mainly about it in Pro Outline, what you can expect from the game and what functions it has. So as you can see right now, we are with the sign up screen. We can sign up with Facebook, Google and Mail and I'm gonna do that with Mail right here. So when you sign up, you will see this screen with a username you can choose and something like a gender you can choose. Um, the username, I'm going to take Alpha Crown, I don't know why, it's just a random name. But um, be aware that racist, yeah, racist names are not allowed in Werewolf Online. You can choose them, but they will probably ban you for that. Um, so don't try weird stuff, just take a neutral name I would say. And as you can see, the amount of characters a name can have is only 14, so no really long names. And now we can also select our gender, and as it says, it will influence have influence in the items we are going to get in the game. You can select male, you can select female, but you can also select non, they will get both for both male as female. And now we are on the main screen, as you can see. And we have quite a bit of buttons actually. So on the right bottom we have the FAQ, we have the help button. Um, I'm going to explain that later. As you can, as we have on the right bot on the right top corner, we have the friends icon. And yes, you can add your friends in this game if you would like to. You can also make friends with players you you encounter in the games. Sometimes that's really nice to do as well. And Left on that one, still in the right, but in the right top corner, we have the settings button. I'm going to show you that in another video, probably. And we also have the three main buttons on the screen. We will get some more buttons in the future as well, right here. But uh, it says play, it says inventory, and it says roles. So I am going to show you what that is. So here we just pressed on the help button, and as you can see, we have five yeah five things here we have the faq we have the roles we have the tutorial the rules and contact i'm going to show you in this video three of these things although the rules might be important as well to read um, i'm going to show you the faq first it's mainly about questions about the game you might have um, although i'm also going to explain a lot in this series and I'm also going to show you really quick what the roles are and I'm going to show you how to have contact with Werewolf Online. So here you can see the FAQ and as you can see it has different things. It has how to play, game modes, avatar, inventory and items, edge cases, clans, reports and bans, my accounts and settings. And there is even more and as you can see I'm going to start with how to play. I'm not going to explain the whole FAQ today because you can just read that yourself, I guess. Uh, but they are giving a yeah brief explanation here of how the game works. I'm going to explain that in another episode as well, probably the next one, because it's quite important to know how the game works. So now about the context section, it's the yeah, the letter, the email thing, and as you can see, you have a certain amount of ways to actually contact the Werewolf Online developers, or at least some helpers. You can send them a mail if you have a question. You can join the Discord server of Werewolf Online. There is an official Discord server, and with that one, you can easily ask a lot of people. There are a lot of people that can help you over there as well, and... Yeah, final thing, you can also talk to a mentor, that is someone who actually can help you in the game. You will get a private chat with that person and you can ask them anything. They're mainly people who know a lot about the game. Okay, so now I'm back on the home screen and I'm going to show you something about roles. Because this game has a lot of roles and that's really epic because it means that every game can be really much pretty much different uh, different different roles to actually experiment with etc and 
as you can see this is just the classic rules it actually means to get the rules that you will find in quick game I will explain that later and here you see a list with all the rules although I'm not going to explain them right now I will explain them during this series I will make a video on all the rules um, so yeah look yeah you should look forward to that one if you want to know something about rules but mainly Wheel of Line consists of four teams in a game and one team is actually the village and a lot of roles here are village roles and they their goal is to eliminate the all the evil people actually all the evil players and then the second team is the werewolf team as you can see they the roles are right here the werewolf the alpha werewolf wolf shaman wolf seer stuff like that and they these roles have to eliminate the solo roles and then they have to be in the majority and we have solo roles the fool and the hat hunter are basically lynch roles so yeah they will try to get lynched or try to get someone else lynched and the solo killers are quite hard roles uh, these are really the challenging roles in werewolf online so yeah that means that not every role is like like that easily a village role will probably be more easy than a solo killer role because solo killer role is actually a role that will need to stand alive yeah and be actually the last person alive and that's really tough you can kill people with that role but you have to stay alive for a lot of nights and days so I will explain that later as well so now we are going to the next part I'm going to show you how the inventory works so now I'm going to the inventory and the game is really much based around about around inventories um, because you actually have a skin as you can see right now it is just a um, yeah boy with brown hair kind of weird shirt I really don't know what it is it's kind of boring skin but it's a default skin uh, but you can change quite a lot I'm going to do a really detailed look in the inventory in another episode but I will just quickly show it this is how it looks like you have two main sections the avatar section and the item section the avatar section is mainly about how you look like so yeah you have that yeah you can actually choose your skin color um, you can choose what kind of hair or hat you can choose your hat you can choose a hairs you can have glasses you can sh select a shirt you even can select a gra gravestone the gravestone is for when you have when you're going to die in a game then you will appear as a gravestone and here we are in the item section this one is with talisman as you can see if you buy it you can get some nice talisman you can also buy roses and roses are items you can give to each other in i in the game and with roses you can also unlock sp special outfits and you can buy stuff with roses as well it's it's a an other it's another kind of currency actually so that's also very really interesting and there is another section as well over there but I will go there in another one I am now going ahead to the game modes so now I'm going to show you the modes we have three modes as you can see right here quick game play with friends and custom games now I just click on custom games and need to be level 2 for this that means you have to play some games for it before you can do custom games but custom games is mainly a game in which you can create your own games you will need to buy rolls with with gold actually and roses sometimes but you can play you can also play games that other people made and just enjoy their games sometimes they have quite interesting games uh, there are a lot of different games over there so it's actually a creative a place for creativity let's say that and now you are going to be able to join the play with friends one as well as you can see right here you have some buttons you can l look up some friends in the purple button invite friends you can quit with the RO and here you have languages so you have sandbox which I'm going to explain later we have a lot of language that we can select and you can also quick and you can uh, you can leave and there was also an option there's also an option to actually enable invitations for friends so that your friends can invite their friends if you want that to happen and now we are going to the quick game or actually I'm not gonna join it but the quick game is the remaining mode the quick game is just the first game you are going to do probably 
because you mainly don't have any other options right now. And the quick game is just a place for new people to learn the game. Uh, they have quite interest, yeah, quite easy setup, not too difficult, and you can really pretty much learn the game over there. Anyways. I hope this video was useful for you. In the next episode I'm going to play a game and I will show you how everything works probably in that quick game. So for now leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you later and don't be a traitor. Goodbye.